I've been a gallerist in New York for, uh, in one form or another, for over 30 years. Uh, I worked for Sidney Janis and uh, um, uh, for a gallery in the 70s called the Hamilton Gallery, uh, the late 70s. But in 1985, I opened my gallery, J. Horney Modern Art, on the Lower East Side, which then moved to Soho in 1987. And I begin with this image of uh, a group exhibition for my gallery in my Soho gallery in 1988. And there you see, reading from the left, uh, Sarah Char uh, Heim Steinbach, those photographs are James Welling, Sarah Charlesworth, and that uh, part of Meyer Weissman painting on the right. Um, uh, I uh, had my gallery in one form or another, Jay Gorney Modern Art, and then later on, uh, and a partnership with John Lee and Karen Robin, called Gorney, Robin Lee, for about 20 years. And then for eight years, I uh, uh, directed and created a contemporary program for Mitchell and Snash. I have been um, an independent for about three years now, working uh, <coughs> in, in a few different ways, uh, uh, advising collectors, advising an estate, and um, uh, creating, organizing exhibitions I'm beginning to work in a sustained way with an artist uh, as an independent, as is Nicole, and we'll talk a little more about that. Uh, and this is a Barbara Bloom's installation uh, called The Reign of Narcissism at my Soho Gallery in 1989. And this is a, a Barbara creating a, um, a, a vanity 19th century museum, and everything is Barbara, a cameo is a Barbara, her tombstone, uh, her bust with the noses broken off. This piece was uh, eventually went into the collection of the Museum of Contemporary Art in Los Angeles and tra traveled around the world, actually. It was Serpentine in, uh, uh, in Basel. But um, I, I show this now deliberately because I am uh, beginning to work with Barbara in a sustained way. And uh, we are uh, going to organize an exhibition at David Lewis's gallery on the Lower East Side uh, this coming spring. So again, different models for working with an artist. Uh, there's an image of my Richard Prince exhibition in 1989, because I can. Uh, uh, but again, this, there's, this is here for a reason, because uh, Barbara Gladstone was at that point representing Richard Prince across the street on Green Street, and she came to me and said, well, I'm going to show the car hoods. Would you like to show joke paintings? And I said, yes. And it, there's an example of different models of collaboration, of of changing things up a bit, and we did get them sold. They all got sold. They didn't fly off the walls, and they were, I think, in the range of thirty to forty-five thousand dollars. If you're curious, uh, this is a painting uh, made in 2014 by uh, a young artist named Matthew Soletti, and I, the Independent Fair, uh, invited me to have a booth in 2014. And the independent is the kind of fair that will allow uh, different kinds of art dealers uh, to exhibit. And I organized an exhibition of paintings by this young artist who I think is, is really an interesting and admirable young artist. This went into a good New York collection. And um, Matthew was recently seen in a show at the Whitney Museum group show called Flatlands. This is a painting by uh, the artist Deborah Remington called Memphis. It was painted in 1969. And I organized a show with the help of Margaret Matthews Berenson, who's here tonight, and the, who's the curator of the Deborah Remington Charitable Trust uh, at Wall Space Gallery. And it was sadly the last exhibition at Wall Space. And this is an, an artist I want, this is a terrific painting that went into a very good New York collection, uh, Memphis. I particularly like this painting. Here's another view of that Wall Space show. Uh, with a painting called March and two Adelphi drawings. But the, the reason I want to talk about Deborah a little bit is because I've now, with uh, working with the Trust, have organized two exhibitions at Wall Space in New York and at Dennis Kimmerich's gallery in Berlin. And we are going to be opening a show of, of drawings, of roughly an over, a 50-year drawing survey of works uh, uh, from Deborah's estate in Los Angeles at the Parish Heinen Gallery that will open next month. And I was thinking, coming here tonight, that this, is, this will be my third exhibition as an independent, different venues, of working with the same artist's estate. And this is a really, a sustained way of working with an artist 
at different galleries. And I think it does present an interesting model. I have enormous affection for this, for the artist and uh, who I knew when I was a young man and for the work. Uh, this is uh, 1995 piece uh, called Virtual Still Life Number no. 8 by R the uh, Chicago imagist Roger Brown, who's an artist I've always had great affection for. And uh, working again with Roger Brown's estate, organized in 2015 this a show of these particular pieces, which were just wonderful and elegiac. And it was towards the end of his life. He knew he was dying. And uh, he'd collected these ceramics all of his life and put them on these shelves against his paintings, really playing with uh, your perceptions of the flat and the three, the, the, the three dimensional. Um, they're stage sets in a way. And this show was at Macaron in 1995 and had some very good reviews. And again, this went to a good. New York collection, a, a different model. Um, uh, creating exhibitions, working with artists I've always admired at other people's galleries. We can talk about why. My feelings about closing my gallery was very close to Nicole's. I saw the handwriting on the wall. It was a changing business, and it's probably fantastic for some people. I thought it, what it was becoming was not for me. I do think about opening a traditional bricks and mortar space, but. I don't think so. <laughs> Sarah Charlesworth, I work, I'm the advisor to the estate. I worked with, I represented Sarah for about 20 years at my gallery, along with Barbara Bloom, James Welling, Jessica Stockholder, and Martha Ross, or some other people. And uh, I stopped uh, working with uh, Mitchell and his Nash around the same time that Sarah died. Uh, and her kids uh, reached out to me, because I knew them from, um, you know, when one was a baby and one, I, I knew Lucy when she was a bump. And um, uh, I've been advising the estate. And, uh, you know, I've, I've worked with, with the Charlesworth estate through uh, the first show at Macaroon, through uh, the new museum show. There is a show coming up at Los LA County, LACMA, in 2017. And I thought I would show this wonderful work by Sarah Charlesworth from 2009 called Camera Work. I the, was invited back to do the independent, and I do have um, a great affection for the Chicago Imagist. You saw I, I organized a show of Roger Brown, and uh, I was trying to figure, you know, what, what am I going to do for the independent? And with, with Matt Zuletti, there was an unaffiliated artist, and I was talking to my friend Derek Eller and said, oh, I have these wonderful uh, Carl Worsham drawings from the 60s, from these particular sketchbooks he made in the 60s, and I said, that sounds like a great independent project. Would you like to collaborate? So this was an absolute collaboration. You see Jay Gorney and Derek Eller. He represents Carl Worsham, who is still alive and in Chicago. And this was a, a booth of uh, uh, Worsham drawings from the 1960s. And it was very well received. And we were very, very happy with the result. And we finish with uh, yet another drawing by Deborah Remington, uh, Adelphi series number 13. This is a drawing from 1967. And uh, this is the show coming up. At, you see it all there, I don't, but uh, a, a drawing survey at Parrish Heinen Gallery. Uh, Franklin Parrish, you know, has a New York space, and this is his Los Angeles space with his partner, Chris Heinen. And that will open uh, in October. And I, 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 again, I do, do mention this because it's not only an upcoming project, but I think it is meaningful uh, to be working on a third, I feel privileged to work on a third exhibition of this artist. Uh, and it's presenting a new model, which I think is what we're uh, here to talk about tonight. Thank you very much.